Hey, also before I um, left for work today, I wanted to do a quick video of some rocks that I picked up um, out at the Haw River here in Burlington, North Carolina. Um, I'm hoping I can use these in the tank, but I don't know enough about them to make sure that they're safe for the aquarium, so that's kind of what I'm wanting to test. Um, as you'll see with the knife test, you can scrape it, but there's like visibly no marks being made. And this is a very sharp knife. Um, usually the knife marks, if you can make them in a rock, will show that it's going to end up uh, leaching into your water. But I cannot make marks on this thing with this knife. Um, the other test here I'll do, another one you're supposed to do is with vinegar. Um, you can also use muriatic acid, which I think is going to be a better test than this. But with vinegar, you take a, a little eyedropper and drop some vinegar onto the rock to see if there's any kind of like fizzing or any reaction. Let's see. But I don't see any kind of bubbling you know, going on this rock. So anyways, I'm going to try to, I posted some pictures online last night to see if anybody has any idea of what it is. Um, but I will go ahead and see if I can figure it out today whether it's safe or not. Um, if it is safe, I'm going to go ahead and I'll probably be using the light bleach cleaning solution. Um, I know that they say you can also boil rocks, but that doesn't seem very safe to me. Um, I remember when I was a kid and we would go camping, if you put a rock in near the fire and there was water near the rock or anything, uh, it could create steam inside and make the rocks explode. So that was something that always kind of worried me about trying the boiling method. Um, so yeah, what I'll probably do is use the bleach solution where it's, I think it's a watered down bleach solution, but I'll look it up online. Um, and you kind of leave the rock in it for like 10 minutes or something like that. And then you wash the rock off and using, um, well you can probably use regular water for that, but then you soak the rock in uh, dechlorinated water for a while to make sure there's no chance that that bleach is still on the rock at all because you definitely don't want bleach in your tank. Uh, anyway, I'll let you guys know if I find out more about the rocks and hope you have a good day.